So if you are looking to build a list of companies that either are using your competitor or you integrate well with their tech stack already, targeting companies by technographic information is one of the best things that you can do. And so there's very few times that I tell people that there's really no uh, competitor on the market and you should just use this one tool in particular because there's always gray, like shades of gray about how they get their data and, and things like that. When it comes to technographics, though, I've really found that Built With is the best provider on the market. Uh, any other provider, like all of these providers are all doing the same things when you're looking at technographics. So a, a word on that is usually what they're doing is they're looking at a company's website and then seeing what technologies they have installed on the website. And then when they find the scripts that, you know, the technologies are responsible for, they say, okay, great. Uh, you know, they are using Stripe or they're using Calendly or they're using HubSpot, whatever it might be. And so in order to build up this database, one, you need to have a gigantic list of websites. And then two, you need to have a gigantic list of technologies to check on those websites. And Built With has just been in the game for so long that they have the most amount of websites and they have the most amount of technologies built up. And like I said, there's really nobody who, who compares uh, to the technographic information of Built With. So um, sometimes people will come to me though and they'll say, okay, hey, Eric, I want a list of any company that's using QuickBooks. And that you can't get with built with because that's not a website that people, or that's not a tool that people usually install on their website. Usually that's a tool that you, um, usually that's a tool that you use kind of like we call it behind the firewall where you wouldn't be able to know that unless you worked at the company. The only other option that you really have is to look at a company's job descriptions, which you can use a company called predict leads to do this, where you can look at their job descriptions and then pull out the technologies from their job descriptions. Um, so if, you know, no company is going to install sales navigator on their website, it's just not even possible, but they will say that they're hiring for sales reps that should be, have experience with sales navigator. And so then you'd be able to check the job postings and see if they're using sales navigator that way. But so built with works off of, if you install it on your website, very phenomenal tool, really, really simple to use. Um, a little bit of a hack as far as creating a workflow goes is word around the water cooler, actually somebody who works at Apollo told me this, is that the technologies filter, and I know, oh no, my camera is covering it a little bit. Um, there is a technologies filter inside of Apollo, and I'm just trying to see if I can show this to you. So this technologies filter here right now, and I know my video is in the way, I'm so sorry. This technologies filter, uh, allows you to build a list of people and companies where the website has certain technologies installed on them. In this use case, I'm looking at Shopify right here. And these are all companies that have Shopify installed on their website. What I have actually found is if you were to build a list in built with and then bring it over to Apollo, especially when you're looking up a category like Shopify, a lot of the times, even though built with might have more companies, like if we were to go here, and see how we, there's like, in Apollo, there's 471,000 companies that are using um, Shopify, right? And then here, it's like right on their front page. I don't even have to log in. There's 4 million companies that are using Shopify as current customers. A lot, like this disparity often comes from the fact that a lot of these people who set up these Shopify stores, they might have like 15 Shopify stores. They do it as a career. They, they, they're not going to create a LinkedIn company page for every single Shopify, Shopify store that they set up. So they, uh, you, you can't associate contacts with every single one uh, because of that reason. They don't have a LinkedIn page. And if they don't have a LinkedIn page, how would you even manually figure out who's the owner of the company and things like that? And so um, what I found is a quick and dirty way is if you don't have built with is to just come into Apollo and look up their technologies because if I were to take a list of companies that fit my criteria, upload them to Apollo, and then filter them by uh, the headcount and the HQ location and all of those things and not have the Shopify filter on, I might get like 5,000 contacts. And then when I don't take it from built with and up upload it to Apollo, but I just use the Shopify filter, I might get like 4,500 contacts. So there's going to be a kind of a dip, but it's usually pretty much the same thing. And so uh, I would use like, built with if we need the full list and we need it to be really, 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 really good. And then I'll use Apollo if I'm just doing something kind of quick and dirty and I just need it to be, uh, you know, done fast. And so, uh, yeah, when you're targeting companies by technographics, built with and Apollo are the tools that you should be looking at in order to do that.